In a few minutes, a two kiloton nuclear bomb is about to go off right above the head of these five American Air Force officers. And no, they are not being punished or being forced to stand here. They are all volunteers. What happened to all five of them? And the cameraman capturing this footage is shocking. It was the post-World War II era. The Americans had recently dropped two nuclear bombs on Japan and the Soviets were terrified. They knew if they do not do something now, they are going to be left behind in the nuclear race. On August 29, 1949, the Soviets conducted their first nuclear test called RDS-1. Both nations were on a war footing, enhancing their nuclear capabilities and coming with different ideas. One of the ideas being nuclear air-to-air -air missiles. Instead of conventional warhead, these missiles were equipped with a nuclear bomb. Their goal was to explode mid-air and take out enemy aircrafts with a big nuclear explosion. On the surface, this idea looks great. But there's a big problem. What happens to people living directly below the explosion and in close proximity? How big of a shock wave the explosion would create? And most importantly, what would be the nuclear fallout? The American public was worried and wanted answers because Americans were not the only ones developing these weapons. That's when these five brave Air Force officers volunteered. On July 19, 1957, a F-89 Scorpion interceptor took off from an airbase loaded with a nuclear bomb. Once it reached the designated point, it dropped the MV-1 nuclear air-to-air -air bomb. It traveled 2.6 miles and detonated 10,000 feet directly above these five men. You can see and hear the men react to the shockwave. Above us there. It is rapid. Close this color. There is the ground wave. It is over, folks. It will happen. So what happened to all five of them? George Yoshitake, the cameraman filming them, gave an interview in 2010 and said, in those days, nobody thought there could be any fear of developing cancer from these nuclear tests. While all the six members of this group, including the cameraman, survived the explosion, they all developed cancer in their 40s and 50s. And four of them died from cancer. George Yoshitake had stomach cancer. Thankfully, he survived. The American Air Force realized their mistake of ignoring the nuclear fallout. In 1963, PTBT, Partial Test Van Treaty was signed by the Americans, United Kingdom and the Soviets. This treaty strictly banned nuclear weapon tests in the atmosphere, outer space and underwater. <laughs> 